today we will be making this this animation in our flutter app as you can see this headphone is hovering so we will create this hover animation in our flutter app so without any further ado let's get started so for the starter project i have this this three constant colors which we'll be using in our app and an asset folder in the project structure which has these three images black headphones this blue headphones and the screen headphones so that is it all we need to create the effect so without any further ado let's get started let's build the app so as you can see this has a black background so we'll provide the uh, scaffold a black background of colors and we'll provide the hex color 0xsf 292929 and this will be a constant color so if i hit save you can see this um, black background and now we'll provide the body property on the scaffold and it will be a column widget the column widget has a property called children and this children takes a list of widget as you can see uh, in the preview we have this first we have this image then we have some text and then this color palette and then this price tag and then a button so for that <clears throat> First of all, we need to add this image. So we'll add the image as image.assets and we'll provide the path as assets slash blue dot png. If I hit save, you can see this image. Now you can see this image is going uh, above this notch. So to fix it, we'll wrap our column widget with another widget that is named as safe area. And now if I hit save, be in the safe area now we need to add the animation this hover animation this hover animation right so to add this animation we quickly uh, create the animation controller and animation so we'll create late animation controller we'll name it as animation controller and we'll create an animation object also not animatable animation and we'll name it as hover animation right so now we have declared the object we need to initialize it so for that we'll use the init state we'll call the init state and then we'll initialize first of all our animation controller so animation controller is equals to animation controller as you can see this animation controller has a required property called vsync and the vsync is of ticker provider so to get the ticker provider we'll add a mm, single ticker provider state machine to our state so to add it just write the with keyboard and add the single ticker provider state machine now this will provide the reference of the single ticker provided to the animation controller via this keyword and that is it for this animation controller uh, one more thing we'll add the duration for this animation so the duration will be constant duration of let's say 700 milliseconds so that is it for the animation controller now we need to initialize the hover animation so to uh, initialize the hover animation we'll use uh, we'll use tween tween is basically it gives a start value and an end value so we'll begin with offset of as you can see this the animation is like in the vertical direction not in the horizontal direction so we'll provide the initial offset as 0 comma 0 and then then the end uh, offset uh, as 0 comma for now let's say 0 0.4 right so still it's giving the error and the error is a value of type tween offset can't be assigned to a variable of type animation so we'll come over here and we'll define the animation as offset like the we'll define the type of animation as offset and it is a tween right it is not an animation object so we'll call the animate property of this tween 
and will pass the parent which is our animation controller animation controller so that is it and we'll add the const modifier to just get rid of this blue suit release so that is it for this uh, animation and now th we want this image like this headphones to over so we'll wrap this uh, image with a widget called slide transition I think slide transition right yeah and this slide transition has a required property named as position and we'll pass the position as hover animation which we have created above and now if we hit save we get an error and if we hot restart it nothing changes so what we have done is we have initialized the animation controller but we haven't started our animation to start our animation just call the repeat method of this animation okay because as you can see this uh, and this hover effect is repeating itself so we'll call the repeat method and now if we hot restart it you can see our animation it looks uh, it not looks exactly the same but we get the animation effect as you can see it bounces back when it reaches the destination to stop this will this repeat parameter um, property has a reverse property and will initialize it to true and now if we hit save and restart our app you can see the smooth animation is being done and for me this offset is uh, too high so what i'll do is i'll reduce the offset by 0 0.02 and now if i hot restart the app you can see this beautiful hover animation <clears throat> next, uh, next thing is to add this text this text and this two text right so for that i will just came here and will provide a text and the text will be bot rokers 450 right so bot rokers rokers 450 r and will provide a style of textile and the color will be colors dot white and font size will be around 34 and font weight will be font weight dot bold and now if I hit save you can see this text uh, just provide a const modifier and next thing is we'll copy this and we'll paste it again and change the text as Bluetooth headphones. Right now, if I hit save, you get the same exact text. So we'll make it 28, we'll make it semi bold. and we'll provide the color as colors.gray now it's look more and now we need a spacing from this headphones to the text so we'll provide a const size box of height let's say 30 i guess that's it yeah and now we need to add this color palette so for this we'll create a class called product and this product has two properties which is final color and that is color and the second property is path so path will be of type string and we'll provide the path and now we'll create a constructor the constructor will be a name constructor so we'll add a curly braces around it and add the required annotation yep so we created the class now we'll create a list of products over here so list of products so for that uh, we'll create list of product 
product and name it as products so our first product will be uh, this black color right so we'll copy this and we'll paste it here and the path will be assets slash black dot png and i'll copy this two more time for blue and cream color and i'll copy this hex code from here and this one also and now i'll change the name as green and blue and instead of now and one more thing to get the uh, information about the current product we'll create a variable of type int and name it as current index and set it to zero now instead of hard coding this image we'll use our products list provide the current index and use the path variable now you can see as the first product is black headphone so we get this black headphone now we need to add this three color palettes so come down and create a row widget this row widget has a children property and will generate a list uh, it is asking the length so we'll provide the products length and in the index will return we are getting some error why is it so okay yeah and we'll return a circle avatar uh, and that's it right as you can see there's three colors right and this will just set the main axis alignment of the row to main axis alignment dot center so it will be in the center and we'll wrap this as uh, circle avatar with a container and provide some margin margin will be const edge inserts dot symmetric and we'll provide the horizontal padding or like margin as 10 so you can see this colors are separated now this circle avatar has a background property and will now provide the path like the color so we'll use the products uh, list will provide the index which we are getting and then we'll call the color property as you can see we have this three colors now as you can see nothing happens on clicking this tile so for that we'll wrap our circle avatar with a widget uh, name as gesture detector and the gesture detector has a property called on tap which takes a void callback sorry and in we'll call the set state method and in this we'll change our current index to the index which is being generated by the list and now if we hit save and now if we click on any color the color changes right so as you can see over here in this website uh, the color changing animation is also smooth as you can see it switches to the color and in our app it's it changes the image just like quickly so we want that uh, switch animation so for that what we can do is we can wrap our image widget with a, an another widget which is animated switcher animated switcher and this animated switcher has a required property called duration and the duration will be a const duration of 700 milliseconds and now if we hit save still nothing happens nothing is like the animation isn't smooth why because the flutter think that the image widget is same so and it do not re-renders every time thus uh, the ticker provider provides a tick so for that uh, to fix it we'll provide a key to the image and the key will be a value key value key of type integer 
and we'll provide the current index and if we hit save and now if we click on black see it changes like a switch yeah we get the res des res uh, desired result now uh, we need only this this price tab this one and this notify me button so for that we'll create we'll just copy above code from here this text widget and just below the row widget we'll pay, place it and change the as rs.1599 i guess yeah and change the color to red make it 20, font size make it 29 and make it semi bold uh, i guess that's it you can see this we got this image but we need uh, we need some vertical spacing so for that we'll use size box and we'll provide the height as 30 i guess now we hit save we got this yeah now the only thing left is this notify button so we'll quickly create that too we'll create a container we'll give a margin of const agencies dot symmetric and the margin will be of horizontal and it will be of 20 pixels right next thing is we'll provide a color of colors dot red and uh, height sorry height of 40 pixels next thing is the child property the child will property will be an align widget uh, which takes alignment as a property and we'll set it as alignment dot center uh, we'll make it as constant because we are not using it we are not changing it and we'll provide the child as a text and the text will be notify me and we'll provide some styling to the text and the color will be colors dot white and font size will be will be around 20 and if we hit save get this thing yeah and we'll add a vertical spacing also so that is it we have get our desired result as the preview we can change the color and this animations smooth so that is it